Ron Nelson from the Outdoor Line here, and of course we're all fired up by getting the Anacortes Salmon Derby and, and, and trying to get that big $15,000 fish. Year after year, some of the most successful fishermen up in the islands and, and really in the straits and, and out on the coast always have herring somewhere in their presentation. We're going to show you how to rig up a herring here with using a whole bait with a really dependable setup and it's called the herring helmet. These are brought to you by the same folks that made crippled anchovies. They're called crippled herring, K-R-I-P-P-L-E-D. And basically it is exactly the shape of a herring. And if you look close, you'll see this one somewhat experienced. It's got some tooth teeth marks on it already. Basically it's exactly the same shape as the herring. We're going to insert the herring. We're going to keep it in there and keep the shape of the herring with a couple toothpicks. I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. Okay. Basically we're going to grab our herring and these are actually big greens there. These will work with, with anything from a large red to a small blue, okay, which and that's kind of what we got here basically. And you need to take the herring and just make sure he fits in there. I put a little pressure on the lower part of his jaw and slide him right up there in the helmet. See how nicely that fits right there? Okay, so then we got to take a toothpick. There's always a scramble to find nice dry toothpicks on the boat. Two things you need to do with this toothpick. Number one is there, there's three holes along the side. We're going to insert it in that middle hole and then watch as it protrudes out the side, the, the other side. So I'm turning it as I'm pulling it through, right? Then we take and we're going to clip it off in two locations and, and that's going to be, be a nice smooth bait for us, okay? Then, once, so once we, once we clean that off, it, you can't even see the toothpick in there anymore, it's just cut right off. We take another toothpick and we, we pick the blister and by that I mean the part of the head where the line actually comes out. So we take this to this toothpick here, insert it in there, and then we break it off. Now we've got this toothpick that stays up there and we also have a way to keep tension on our bait. So now, with a little bit of slack, we're going to insert the hook where the blue of his back meets the silver of his sides, also known as a lateral line, even with the dorsal fin. So we're going to insert this hook right here in, that, in the lateral line of the herring, pull that hook up, then watch what happens with the blister. As I pull on this herring, watch what happens. We're going to straighten his tail out a little bit. And there you have just about the perfect bend. This is a bait that is going to spin for you and it's going to keep fishing until you get bit or you quit fishing. Okay, the problem with using straight herring or cup plugs quite often is the fact that you don't end up with as dependable a bait as this plastic head has on it. In addition, Crippled makes crippled anchovy heads. Since we're using a smaller bait such as an anchovy, our hooks are tied closer together. If you look at the herring rig, the hooks are a little farther apart to accommodate the size of the herring because we want the trail hook back by the tail of the herring. Crippled anchovies, you don't need a toothpick. They come with their own pin. So we put the anchovy in the helmet, you pin him in there, the pin stays in there, okay? And we run that hook very, very close to the head put that top hook in and that's it and you're done and again you've got a very very dependable bait we hooked several fish on this crippled herring rig during the Olympic Peninsula Salmon Derby well that's uh, that's why we're gonna run herring and run them dependably and that's your outdoor line last cast for the 23rd of March 2013 thanks for watching we'll see you next week